Good evening, Crypto World. It is 10.26 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on 12-15-2019. The market currently at $190 billion, almost 91. And 24-hour volume is at uh, almost $14 billion. So uh, very little going on, obviously, in the pricing and in the volume. Um, but still billions into the market, so you can't complain about that. Um, 7,100 for B BTC, 142 for ETH, and 21 cents, almost 22 for XRP. You're going to see this over the next two weeks, pretty much hang in this area or drop down a bit. You know, because why? Nervousness. When you get the prices hanging, 7,100 for BTC. And then it goes down to 7,021. And all of a sudden, whoops, there it goes into the 6,500. 67 may happen. But you got to understand this. When the prices are low, before the big run, yeah, you may want to just think about getting into some of your favorite coins. And the ones that are very inexpensive and have such promising futures, those are the ones that could gain you some decent profits. I'm not your financial advisor, but I will say this. With the ADF Group working with Apollo as a partner and building, and they will come, this is the bomb. While you're doing your stuff, Apollo and the ADF are building the Lesotho MOU agreement and deploying and working with so many other countries to lock and load in Africa, the Middle East, and Asia. So while you're doing your stuff, a price that is 0. .0006, when you think in relation, when you buy a million coins for 600 bucks, okay, ish, right, what could happen with something of a project that has delivered like no other? And I'm going to go over the roadmap in just a second. Because there is not a lot of news. What you got to understand is, like this title says, if a thousand projects don't make it, blockchain is still a change catalyst. In 2020, you're going to see a lot of the coins go bye-bye. There'll still be fluff out there. Stuff that pops goes bye-bye. But the coins that matter, that's what's going to be the mantra of 2020. The coins that matter. So when you look at what's archaic and the way they're being done, you know Bitcoin's going nowhere, okay? Ethereum and proof of stake, I mean proof of work, trying to get the proof of stake, really having a hard time taking care of business. While Apollo has been proof of stake for two years and going to the DAG consensus protocol in 2020, yeah, leaving them in the dust, okay? XRP will always be around because they're used in the Ripple infrastructure in the banking system and money payment processing cross-border. And that'll be something, that's a good price for XRP to lock and load. The other ones down the line, forget it. Apollo's gonna be coming up the ranks because of what they're building. When you think about what I talk about in this video and then how I end it, you'll see what I'm talking about. Okay, you have, Here's what causes a little known cryptocurrency to drop by 99% in 12 days from 26 cents down to squat. Um, this HEX piece pushed by Richard Hart. When you look at the article, it starts off saying it's a scam. Okay. Um, and that's titling here. Um, but then when you read, you know, the shortest scam in crypto history, come on. Of course, it put a question mark. Nobody knows if this is a scam. And somebody in Richard Hart's position, I don't think he'd be pushing a scam, okay? Um, but the way it was promoted and the way it's set up, and yeah, it can lead people to think it. And he even said it too, that he, you know, if people can consider it or think it's a scam because of the way it's set up. It's not a good way to do it. It, had been much, it would have been a much better way if they did it the right way. Um, but everybody focuses on the thing about how he's going to end up with a ton of HEX and ETH because of the way it's set up. And this, you're just going to let it settle and see what happens. 
Um, I don't know if I would invest myself in this. I would let the dust settle on that one. Then, and that's another thing too, you got to stay away from the hype of these ones that have no, how can I put it? No oomph, okay? Blockchain. When you take and develop the blockchain and you make the blockchain the fastest, Apollo, okay? You, two, one to two seconds going to sub-seconds. When you have it, the most private with the public option. Built into the all-in-one wallet, okay? There, there's your substance. And the all-in-one wallet has private messaging, data storage, or marketplace to spend your Apollos to have them delivered to your door. A DEX that's in beta right now, going to a full mode, sh mode shortly with BTC in black mode, coming very shortly. Those are substance. Yeah, the all-in-one substance. Binance to list Tron despite scam allegations by Tierra Tape. Soap opera. It really is a soap opera. Tron is not a scam. Jerry Tate's pissed off because of what Binance did to him regarding the listing. When he basically would try to get listed and he asked the agent how much it's going to cost and they said, how much you got? <laughs> and then they basically said he was shocked to receive a listing invoice for 300000 A lot of people paid more than that. Um, and a demand for war? 3% of all the tokens. Not just in circulation, but all the tokens. Um, so he's a little pissed off at Binance. And that's the soap opera, like I said. Analysts say Wales presence is about to get larger. Yes, it is. Um, regarding the BTC pricing in 2020. The basically a lack of uh, coins for Bitcoin. The coins in circulation. That's going to cause the price to go up. When the whales buy more of them, and they are buying, when somebody buys 11 BTC, which was just recently done, and you get more and more buying of the coins, or BTC coin that has very little left to it, the price is gonna go up. That's a gimme. Grandpa of crypto is gonna go up in 2020. Now, when you look at the development in the GitHub for Apollo, massively busy you go you look at other coins go to github and put in your search of other coins and especially the ones that claim they're going to do a lot right and you see their devs are barely doing anything apollo for two years their github has been the busiest of any coin github and the reason why they are building it and they have built it and look at what they're doing for 2020 with the DAG consensus protocol changing their blockchain to a post blockchain going to the ArcNet to do massive TPS along with D apps and smart contracts and the Apollo cloud a very innovative system so when you look at the DEX on the short time frame of what's next DEX is what they're working on fast Apollo is what they're working on and this is getting there. There's still the open files of TradingView protocol, refactor account class, and Dex candlesticks storage. Those are being worked on. Over the next two weeks, I don't think you're going to hear much in the crypto land, and I don't think you're going to hear much around anything. Why? It's the holidays. It's the end of the year. But in 2020, in the first quarter of 2020, that's when you're going to see so much happen. And what's the best time to, to get in? is before the things happen <laughs> okay the fear of missing out is going to come if you didn't do it at the right time and that's investing that truly is investing doing it up now when you see what's going on in github right and you see all that production and then you look at this one i'm going to self-promote for the good of apollo nods this is production i took in my last video i said about how i have over 100 promo videos you can use in your tweeting facebook instagram the whole bunch there i put the link there but i didn't show you what it looked like this is how the file looks when you get to it what you want to do is take this little grid piece right here and click it when you do that you'll get the full pieces of it so that right there let me get that out of there you've got all these videos there's a hundred plus videos and more being added daily that you can download and check out anyone you want you can play it right here but the thing is download it and use it and that's all you got to do and it's so easy to right click it and say download and it comes right to your computer 
use it up. A lot of my subs are doing this. They're putting these tweets out on Twitter. And the thing you got to think about when you do your tweeting, doing a tweet with just text doesn't really grab attention unless you're showmanship texting. Okay. If you take media, good media of pictures and videos, and videos are the most powerful, and put them with a tweet, it makes people notice. It really does. And retweeting and putting it to a comment of a thing that you're commenting on, yeah, it draws attention. So, like I said, more and more of these are being added every day to this folder. And there's tons right now there. So lock and load and use it. Abuse it. That is the best way to put it. Okay, so when you look at the blockchain of Apollo, what they've done in the roadmap of the fastest, most private sharding that nobody else could ever do, the most private going through the great Chinese firewall, okay, and having IP masking and coin shuffling. The things that these other coins are trying to do, Apollo has had for the last almost two years. And this is something that you got to understand that what they're planning on doing right in the next few weeks, rebranding, new website, white paper, tech paper, over here on the side over there, the fourth quarter. Now, keep in mind, too, with the roadmaps, they can blend into the next quarter um, because of the way time goes. Academic validation, this may not happen to the first couple weeks of January, but still happening. That's what you got to understand. It's going to happen. So with a new website, the new explainer video, and this could happen this month too. I hope it does. Um, all that happening, and then what they're doing in Africa with the ADF group. They signed the agreement with Lesotho. They were just in Egypt, working with Egypt. Uh, you got to understand, and then another country that I forgot the name of it, that wasn't on this roadmap. You see all these countries? Nigeria. Shetiris, Mozambique, Zambia, Tanzania, Kenya. Go through it and look what they are doing. Niger, Togo, I mean, Ivory Coast, Benin, Basel, Senegal, all locked and loaded. And they're visiting with the ADF group is basically recommending to everybody in Africa, the 54 countries, to take care of business and use Apollo's blockchain because of its endless features and the most advanced blockchain that's what's going on so when you have what's coming up that you can get a million coins for like 600 bucks and then it goes up the fear of missing out the anticipation what oh oh damn damn i gotta get that well guess what <laughs> that's coming and good gif gif by chris crypto world on twitter very good Buying and selling. Apollo is building the CEXs to be tailored to the African continent for their currencies being used in Africa. So people can buy Apollo. That's being built and that's coming. And it's going to be used for the whole world too. You can use the CEX. Plus you have the DEX coming. Yeah, I would start thinking about if you got millions of coins to start shopping around for homes and nice cars. I would. Because there's a very good chance of what Apollo is doing, the fintech in 2020, and doing everything they're doing, making this all-in-one that is the best in crypto, dominating, get even better. That's the ticket. That really is. So the coin that has done it all and doing so much more for 2020, it is the best investment in my opinion. The lowest price one out there. And sure, people could say, well, how come it hasn't really gone up high in the last two years? You got to understand there's over 3,000 coins out there. Okay. And where, where the major media, what they do, they concentrate on the Bitcoin and Ethereum and all those. They don't concentrate on the ones that are smaller. So Apollo's just keep, they keep building it and building it. And then the big boys will have to stand up and notice because they have everything and they're kicking butt on the tech. And don't forget too, in the wallet, you have passive income from forging. Press a button and the coins start coming in. If you have over 1,000 coins and after 1,440 
confirmations. It does start to come in. The Africa National Currency Initiative and their digital solutions that they're doing for the governments. Keep in mind, Apollo's Lesotho MOU. They're used doing it and integrating it into all the different functions of the government, not just one program. All, including、um, mineral asset management, diamonds. Think about that. That's what Apollo is doing. They're walk-in locations to Lesotho for people to load up their debit cards. So the digital solutions, everything they're doing in Africa and the Middle East and Asia, the DAG consensus protocol. Well, guess what? Listen to this. Is an all-in-one digital currency which combines the features of mainstream cryptocurrencies into one platform. Apollo has made history by becoming the first project to utilize sharding on an active blockchain. In 2020, the foundation will focus on achieving true mass adoption via its national currency initiative. The initial target is the continent of Africa, where the foundation has partnered with ADF Group to pitch to all 54. Nations on the continent of 1.2 billion people. This is big. The foundation is also developing tools for mass adoption, including a light wallet app. The mobile app will have a QR code as well as merchant features. This will help Apollo to gain merchant adoption globally. Apollo's aims are pretty ambitious to say the least. It aims to become the all-in-one crypto for all use cases. If it manages to achieve these goals, it could be on its way. Way to become one of the top cryptocurrencies in the future. Definitely want to keep your eye on. It's not just me saying how good Apollo is. Okay, it's big. Okay, what they're doing is big. So 2020 is going to be big for Apollo. Lock and load if you can. That's my own personal opinion. Don't do it if you can't afford it. Okay, I'm not your financial advisor, but when you look at all the links down below in my description, you can get all the information. Do your own research. And when you do so, you can see and listen to and watch my videos. Two years of following this project, two years. I was the first to do daily videos on Apollo. I'm the only one still doing daily videos on Apollo. Why? Because I believe in the project, and I believed in it back then. To, when I saw that it had the fastest that they were doing and the most private with public options, and they were planning on sharding, and DEX, and more. Then I did not realize they were going for national currency and digital solutions in Africa and beyond. So it's so much better than what I thought, and it's going to get even better with DAG consensus protocol and Apollo Cloud and sub-second speed. Right now they have、uh, basically BitMart is where you can buy Apollo. The IDAX situation has not changed, unfortunately. IDAX is—we don't know where the founder is and what he did.、Um, there's rumors that he took all the computers with the secret keys and took off. I'm surprised that the Chinese Mongolian government hasn't got him yet,、um, and to talk to him and see what's going on. But we'll find out. That's for sure. Sooner or later, he's going to be speaking to authorities, unless he's dead like the guy from Canada. Hopefully not. Um, the <laughs> the thing is, they have LA Token and HitBTC coming, as they put it, any day now. S- Steve said, talk to HitBTC and talk to those guys, LA Token, to find out when they're doing it. They're integrating it; it's coming. So that's going to help having more and more options. But keep in mind, the DEX will give it to you. The CEX that they're building will give it to you. It Bitmart, Bitmart, by the way, is very fast, super fast. Apollo's. That's another thing too. When I gotta say this fast, before we get off, don't don't forget about George, hiring from Huawei. He's still with Huawei, but he's an advisor to Apollo, and in the Apollo blockchain security aspect. Plus, he has AI and cloud experience, massive, thirty years of experience. But one thing I gotta say, when you download the wallet, there's your proof of the pudding. Send some coins to a friend, okay? Send them to an exchange, Bitmart, and see how fast they get there. Yeah, rapid. You don't get that with Ethereum and all the other coins. You don't. You have to wait and wait and wait. 
So the rapid transfer over to the exchange and many people comment how BitMart back to your wallet is fast. And when you look at what you should do, don't keep your coins on the exchange. George, it's going to be fantastic. Get out there and speak, George, because <laughs> after the holidays, of course, this is going to be huge for 2020. I would say this. Steve's comment, get ready. The world will never be the same because of all their new stuff that they're unleashing. Nine new products to be exact. I would say this. I'm not sure about that the world will never be the same, but I will say this. They are going to change the world. They already have with what they've got built and under their belt. But where they're going? Ding dong. Ding dong. That's exciting. So, on 12-15... 10 days before Christmas, 16 days before New Year's. What's happening? Not too much in the crypto world, except for Apollo working their butts off to take care of business. So the power of Apollo in 2020, Apollo FinTech, they're rebranding, new website, everything that's coming, get ready for it. And the low price you can get right now to lock and load on a powerhouse coin, you may have a great opportunity in front of you and why not take the risk i did a lot of other people did they're apollo knots. and guess what if it happens it's going to be the bomb it really is going to be the bomb and do i think it's going to happen in my personal opinion yes